Right, Nana here. In this one, we are going to see a small tip on the order management create order screen. So let me go on the sign in now. <clears throat> and then let me go to the order management, and then I go to the order management, and then here I'm not going to create an order. So click on give order. So if you choose the business unit, the item field is somewhat small actually. If you go for CM, I'm going to give a tab now. <clears throat> let me choose the first item over here now. I'll click on it. So CM. Okay, we're not put that customer, so it's not coming. So we're going to put the customer over here now. <coughs> Now, if you go there with the CM, you can give a tab now. I will choose the item. And go the item ends in 0006 now. Okay. Hey, what is Customer is saying that what happens is not fully visible for me. So, he would like to have this field expanded now. And it's likely expanded so that what happens is it shows you the full uh, item number as a chunk. So, it's not an issue. And go there. Well, now customize this page so that what happens is the full item can be visible over here. You can cancel it. So let us now first of all create a sandbox for this one. So click on this navigator icon on the laptop and then go there. Go to the more now. Click on the more and then you go on the configuration and then click on the sandbox and then I'm going to create a sandbox for this. So click on create sandbox and let me create a sandbox now. <clears throat> so it's for the item width actually fine. There's a springboard and then I will now say item underscore width. Always give a meaningful name so that what happens you can understand but why you created a sandbox actually and <clears throat> go there and then enable the page composer for it now. The and then click on it, create and the page composer is enabled for the sandbox. I'm now creating it and then I'm entering into the sandbox now. So once when you enter the sandbox, you can now see the sandbox coming at the top now. I know there is no enter. Now I click on the home icon. Item it is not coming click on it, and then I go to the order management, and then I go to the order management again. Let me create the order. So to edit it, what happens? You go there, click on it, and then you have to fill up all the mandatory fields actually. So in this place, I have to edit the item selection now. I'm going to click on the business unit, the mandatory field, go there, go down, and then let us not put it down. And then let us not populate the customer also, otherwise, what happens? It will not be coming it will coming to you properly. So let me put that for the customers. Now I must be in the position to edit it. <coughs> so this will be edited. I go there. So having chosen everything, every uh, required fields, you go there, click on your name. <coughs> And then yet, what happens? Go to the edit pages, administration, and then edit pages. I'm not going to go to the edit mode now. So once when you come into the edit mode, <clears throat> you go to the structures area. <clears throat> uh, you go to the structures area, add content, and then start doing structures. I know the structures. So go down, and then this place. What happens? Keep your cursor of the select item, and then you say, "Do not ask me next time." Okay, I check on the edit mode, and the select item under edit. Uh, again, click on it properly, and then go down. So now. I have already my cursor is on the select item. I know that big, make it big. I know that I can now see input text item number is now coming up because we already kept it over there. So click on the edit now and the edit icon. I know that. Click on it. So you go to the fourth tab region on this one. Find one, two, three, four. The content style. And then here I will now say the width is going to be 300 pixels now. I know that. Click on it. And then click on apply and then click on OK and then have over there. So it's OK. You can apply. Hold on. Now you can see it's too big actually. I don't want this much of a big one basically. So let me reduce it to say 75. The salary item is not too much of a width now. So I don't want this much of a width now. And then again, click on the edit icon. Find that show the properties of item number. That is what I'm saying. Click on the item number is already selected now. And then go to the final one. So it's the 300 pixels is too much now. Find that. I'll make it as 75. Adjust it to your taste and then your needs actually <coughs> click on okay now so you now see whether it's okay or not uh, it looks like somewhat okay now now go and then see this now it's okay now click on okay. cancel now close the page and we are now done the editing complete the editing click on close now <coughs> and now i will now put the public item and then see now see ya and then give it a tab I had to get the 0006 over here now. Click on OK now. So now it's still not fully visible. Now, find whether if you make it as 80 or something like that, whatever it will be visible now. Find so accordingly, adjust it now. Only up to zero was visible now. So let's again go there and then edit the pages now. And then I want to go to the edit pages. 
let us not make it as what 85 it was 75 20 pickers over there so what are the structures <clears throat> keep your custom item on. so click on edit now and then go down in the bottom you pull it up and then I click on edit now now make it as 85 and then see whether it's okay now <coughs> and now make it as 85 and then click on apply and click on okay now adjust it to your uh, requirement actually now I think it's uh, even more not and click on so let us not see this not time. so go there click on close now <coughs> So this is editing of the sandbox is now complete now. Go there. Now you can see it's okay. Maybe 80 may be okay. Now what you have to do is you have to publish it. Okay? Because of publishing it, what happens is the changes will not be stable as such. Now fine. We are in a sandbox environment. We click on it and then publish it. <coughs> click on publish. Click on okay now. I'm going to publish it now. So once that is published, the changes will be permanent. And then do not perform any transactions when you are in a sandbox only for setup speed. What happens? You do it now. Go there. Click on publish. Some of the setups are also not fully recorded in the system as such now when you're in the sandbox. Fine. Don't do uh, any setups or transactions when you're in the sandbox. I have it as added. No, sandbox is gone now. So we'll now go the and then you are in a normal mode. Fine, click on it and then we'll have a look at it. The sandbox in the top, top is now gone. Fine, click on it. And then I go to the order management and then see <clears throat> how exactly it is. I'm going to look now. Drop it down and then choose your business unit now. I'm going to and then I'm going to populate my customer over here. Now I'll now put the same item over here. I'll see how much which is not to see and then give it down. And then choose it. And click on OK now. It's not coming down. Right? Maybe 80, maybe a very good offline. But what happens? You adjust it. Right? When you are working on a customer's look, uh, machine. Uh, on the instance, you try to what happens? Uh, take care of all these small, small things. But then uh, uh, do uh, the adjustments so that whatever the customer becomes happy on this <clears throat> so that even small small things will not only really, uh, improve the value addition to your implementation actually right. so likewise you keep on doing it and then uh, whenever you do anything on one of the projects you note it down and then uh, try to repeat it on the next project okay so that what happens you can immediately implement all those things whatever you have done in the previous project so that every implementation what happens you'll be able to fine-tune your uh, activity as such right now Mm-hmm. <clears throat>